AEW Sammy Guevara and Andrade El Idolo engage in social media war of words. A new Twitter beef is officially upon us. Hey there everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and we're gonna go ahead and kick off today's video with the recent war of words between Andrade El Idolo and Sammy Guevara. Here's what went down. In what was either an elaborate work toward a future storyline or another real life backstage issue that has come to light, AEW Sammy Guevara and Andrade El Idolo took to Twitter Tuesday to engage engage in a social media war of words. The issue appears to have started with a Spanish language interview on Mas Lucha that Andrade did on Monday, where he mentioned that the only wrestler he has ever had a problem with is Sammy Guevara. The interviewer essentially asked Andrade how he felt about the backstage drama that had been reported over the past couple of weeks in AEW, particularly between the Elite and CM Punk. This then led Andrade to talk about what went down with him and Sammy. Andrade claimed that Sammy Guevara complained he hit him both too hard and too frequently in an unspecified match. Andrade said he told Guevara that it was just wrestling and if he hit Guevara too hard, he should do the same to him. He said he talked to Guevara without any physical altercation and asked if there was a problem to which Guevara said there wasn't. Andrade also told the interviewer that Sammy Guevara complained like a niña a little girl. The two have shared a ring three times in AEW this year, a February singles match, a March three-way with Darby Allen, and a six-man tornado match at March's Revolution. It's unknown which specific match Guevara is alleged to have complained about. On Monday night, Guevara tweeted the following, which is assumed to be toward Andrade. You are a jobber, a favor hire, be a grateful on Tuesday morning, Andrade tweeted this toward Guevara in response. I said it to your face. If you had a problem with me and you said nothing, I won't beat your ass because I'm a professional. Don't be scared. When I say something, I name names and I'm not scared to get fired. Guevara then retorted denying an altercation took place and taking shots at Andrade for supposedly wanting to return to WWE, saying, quote, you didn't say shit to me, you liar, but here's some truth, you ungrateful prick. You should be jobless if it wasn't for your dad-in-law. Are you really mad at me or mad at yourself for failing to get over a second time? Just go back to WWE like we all know you want to do and f off. Andrade then said he will see Guevara on Wednesday and teased another confrontation, saying, quote, Okay, I'm a liar. See you on Wednesday. I'll tell you to your face again and nothing you say that you do not have any problem. Further adding to this confusion as to the legitimacy of all of this is Andrade's on-screen companion, Jose the Assistant, confirming Andrade's account of things. However, Andrade and Guevara are currently not in any storyline together, nor has there been any tease of one recently. On Sammy's latest vlog, he spoke about being really exhausted by all the wrestling drama, saying, quote, there's just so much drama that goes on in wrestling. It's really exhausting. It's tiring. Seems like every couple of weeks is something I'm minding my own business on vacation. And then, you know, people want to start drama with me. It's the life I signed up for, I suppose. But it's definitely tiring. And maybe I'll need to go on another vacation next week. And in a now deleted tweet, Ricky Starks commented on the situation saying, quote, man, can my coworkers just shut the f up for a minute? Andrade is said to put his AEW career on the line on Friday's live rampage against the Mask of Dark Orders 10, while Guevara will team with ROH champion Chris Jericho against Brian Danielson and ROH peer champion Daniel Garcia on Wednesday's Dynamite. Well, what are your thoughts on the recent Twitter beef between Sammy Guevara and Andrade? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, I will see you guys back here on another episode of The Latest.